Okay, let's take a minute here. I'm going to talk about something I discovered today. It's all about these little guys here in your car, these automotive fuses. So my car has been sending a lot of uh, check engine lights, cam sensor messages, all kinds of things. I've spent hundreds of dollars uh, trying to get mechanics to figure all out. The cam sensor in my uh, Hyundai Elantra uh, has been changed four times and all under warranty because it wasn't clearing the cam sensor problem. And my mother had a brand new car, well, three or four year old car, but she's a senior and it had 12,000 K on it and the radio died on it. So I decided to check the fuse and I checked the fuse with an ohm meter and found that the fuse was fine, but I was just about to put the fuse back in and I noticed that the prongs on her fuses were really discolored. And it almost looked like there was an oxidization on the fuses. So I decided to clean the fuse on a wire wheel and I plugged it back into her car and lo and behold, the radio worked again. So I decided on my car to start pulling all the fuses out, especially the ones that are in the plastic box underneath the hood, to see what I would find. Well, I've been pulling these fuses out today. Now I will show a photograph right here. And I've just taken these fuses and I decided to clean each contact. They were disgusting. They were gold in color, discoloration. There was absolutely no proper contact. But something I noticed too with these fuses, I guess it's these uh, offshore shoes, uh, fuses that are being used now, is the quality. If you actually take it, and I've got to try to do this in a way that you'll see it. If you actually take these and move these, you can actually see these prongs don't even move right. Like they, or they move too much, I should say. There's too much play in these prongs. Some are worse than others. Um, one of these blue ones actually was really, really bad on, on, on my car. And I'm sorry, I, I can't really see it. But these prongs, if you actually look in there through the, the camera, the prongs come down and the squiggly line in the center of the fuse there. I'll put it up in the light. You can see the little squiggly line, how it's attached to those two legs. If this jiggles around too much, it could actually break free. The little wiggly line in there, wire, could break free from the leg of the fuse. So uh, I went to my mechanic and I told him, look, look what I discovered. And he shook his head and he all of a sudden told me of a time with a Ford F-150 where he found a fuse where... If you actually look here on the top, just to the left and right of the number 15 here, you see the two little metal legs. He put an ohm meter on top of those, and when he pushed down, he was getting an ohm reading. So he actually thought the fuse was okay. But when he actually pulled the fuse out, one of these legs broke off. So what he discovered was when he pushed down on the top to test the fuse, he was actually squeezing it together, making contact in there. But when he took the fuse off, the leg was actually broken inside there, and it wasn't making proper contact. So when he changed the fuse, it was fine. So what I discovered today is I went through every fuse in my car. Every one of these has oxidized and has improper uh, connection or clean connection. I have put took these out to show you, but I actually um, cleaned these disconnected the battery in my car, I've put these fuses back in and it has cleared all my check engine signal. The, the check engine light has not come back on. So if you're having electrical issues in your car, go through these fuses, clean the oxidization, inspect for too much wiggle room in these legs here. If they're too, too loose and they're, they're all over the place, maybe put a new one in and see if that corrects your problem. Hope it works for you.